Greetings all, Palmer here. And this time around, I'm bringing you something from the 50s, I believe. Radar Men from the Moon. It's an old Republic serial. Yeah, remember when they made those? Me neither. And it's got a guy in a lousy space suit uh, with a jetpack fighting off men who have absolutely nothing to do with radar whatsoever. Um, and yeah, it was featured on Mystery Science Theatre 3000, but I am not taking influence from that. Okay, so without further ado, in three, two, one, go. Yes, they're still around. By the way, I believe. Commando Cody, that's his name. Yeah. And the title makes no sense. Um, who are these people? And why are they featuring... Austria's Korea. Sure. Yeah. Okay, who's he? Uh, moon rocket. Right. Oil field explosion. Completely random. Nothing to do with the story. This is the voice of the Mysterons. We are destroying random shit. We offer no ransom. And I don't really remember my Captain Scarlet enough. But those explosions would do Jerry Anderson proud, I'm sure. A continued wave of death dealing explosions yesterday and at area. The, the office building? Really? As in previous occasions, the authorities are unable to detect the cause of these blasts, which have done untold damage. Who could possibly be doing this? Uh -huh. Well there are several theories, Joan. Well but so far we now know what untold damage is like. Being used or how they're set off. Maybe Thank Mr. you, Anderson Bin Laden. Some information for us when he gets in from Washington. That guy Henderson wouldn't tell you what time it is. Just what is his job, anyway? He won't tell you that either, Ted, but it's a big one. He only answers to a few people in this country of ours. Mm -hmm. I think that... One's the president? Hello, Mr. Henderson. Hello, Commander Cody. Ted, Miss Gilbert. Is that his name? getting along with the rocket ship. As well as can be expected, sir. Our tests with the model are satisfactory. If the government will let us make a few test flights with the rocket... It's itself. out of the question. This whole project strictly top secret. Since you people developed the rocket ship for us, and we'll be the ones operating it, it has been decided that you should know more of our plans. I've been authorized okay. to tell you this much. Its primary use will be to combat this wave of sabotage and destruction of our defense system. You mean the government knows what's causing okay, it? Okay, no 9,000 units and what have you. Show that the explosions are of atomic origin. You mean someone's dropping atomic bombs on us? Not bombs. No planes have been observed, and the explosions aren't severe enough. No, from what I've learned of the nature of the blast, wow. they seem more like an atomic ray of some kind. Of course, that's just a guess. It's the same okay. guess that Okay, they're making Paul the Trent look stupid, place. right? But no one has ever been able to make an atomic ray machine. You mean no one on Earth ever has? Say, this rocket we're building will be able to fly I'm to the moon. I'm pretty sure Maybe it means no one. Maybe someone one that could get down here. We believe that possible. And for some time, our astronomers have been noticing an unusual amount of atomic activity on the moon. Atomic activity on the moon. Atomic blasts on the Earth. The two known facts fit together. Yes, that's up. Not really. So that's why you want us to fly to the moon? Yes. And when you get to the moon, find out if these attacks are actually coming from there. And try to devise some plan for stopping them. In the meantime, we'll do what we can with these attacks here. 
Is your flying suit still working? Yes. We may ask you to use it. Uh -huh. If a ray gun is being used to cause these blasts, it's probably being operated from the ground. And if you could get to the scene of the attack soon enough, you might be able to find some clue to the attackers. I'll be glad to try. Good. We'll phone you as soon as we have any information about another attack. All right, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah. These two guys won't be named. Their names are Grabber and Daly. Right on time. Wow. Real impressive. Let's get over to Current Pass. That troop train be along soon. Okay. All right. I'll get out there right away. So give me a hand with the flying suit, Ted. The trailer of army supplies was just blasted out in the west end of the valley. A rancher reported he saw a truck parked on the hill. Overlooking the tracks, with two men in it. Working some kind of a gun. They pulled out right after the wreck and headed toward Kern Hills. Henderson's office gave me a description of the truck, so I'm going out to look for it. I suppose you'll be wanting this. Yes. I may need it. Whatever that is. Okay, that helmet actually looks pretty creepy, I reckon. And seriously, did they have to have a face on it? Couldn't they just have had a visor? Because that's definitely not going to be unnoticed. Well, noticed. Whatever. She ought to be along any time, though. Okay, get set. So what's their plan? They're just gonna shoot at the train and hope that no one stops them? Not at least some masked dick with a jetpack. You guys have to remember that westerns were very popular back in the, back when this was being made. Let's get out of here. Leave the ray gun. What else can we do? They could take the ray gun. I mean, I don't know where they'd go with it, but um, the loss of the ray gun is not too serious. I brought sufficient equipment from the moon to build several of them. But I do not care to have the Earth people learn the secrets of our weapons. From the description you gave me of your attacker's costume, it must have been Commando Cody in his flying suit. He will probably take so our they know to who he is. Examination. They we haven't tried to stop him or anything. Chamber from the ray gun. That's a large order, Krog. We hired out to work your ray gun. Guy's this name's Krog. We hired to do anything that I may consider necessary to pave the way for our invasion from the moon. You're being well paid for your work, so do as you're ordered. Okay. Well paid. In what, lunar dollars? What kind of value do those have? They equal in value to five if British on pounds. Going to hold up finishing the rocket ship? No. I'll just give it a quick examination and then turn it over to the authorities. We'll still be able to take off for the moon next Wednesday. You'd think they'd have a bit more security, other than just allowing two guys to walk in. Take it easy, and you won't get hurt. Move back. There's the unit we want. Grab it. Wow, people 
are supposed to sit on those stools. And that was just Baby Bear's chair. Surprised they're not clapping with how fake this fight looks. And don't try to follow us. Uh -huh. Okay. So Grabber and Daily got the um, was with the following them thing. They already know where it's coming from. Uh, calling Reddick. Reddick. Calling Reddick. Right. Come in, crowd. A rocket ship is leaving here in five days to investigate our moon. I did not believe the Earth men possessed a ship capable of making the journey. I just learned about it myself. How about I'm opening sure your eyes? Correct. Very well, it is not too serious. We will be prepared to take I mean, care of the visitors. Seriously, you get quite a view from there, don't you? Hell, by that time they actually did have satellites up there. So the rocket ship would not have been too far off. I still think this is no trip for a woman. Now don't start that again. You'll be very glad to have someone along who can cook your meals. I'll say we will. Don't give her any more arguments. Okay. I like to eat too. Even if they didn't have satellites, they still had uh, missiles. Well, boys, that's it. Well, the best of luck to all of you, sir. Hope this thing works all right. So do we. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Hi, folks. Hello, Hank. Yeah. All set? All warmed up. We can take off right now. Interestingly That's enough, this was made in the 50s, but the rocket ship hadn't changed since the 30s. And the um, suit was borrowed from an earlier serial as well. Safety belts fastened. Fire pilot jets. Totally get them breaking free of Earth's gravity. Besides that, it looks to be a horribly unsafe ship. What? Well, you'd hardly know we were moving. Well, believe it or not, we are. A lot of miles per minute. She's living up to the test we made. Set a course oh, for the moon. She's right. never been in a plane before. It's a plane. Once you get used to it, you can barely tell. Yeah, that's not the kind of trajectory you'd be taking. Just about here. Another two hours. I hope, 
hope they pack their spacesuits. I mean, get seriously, one one on the moon. Let's take her back in those hills where we can find a place to hide the ship. Then I'll fly over the city in the rocket suit. Okay. But, don't think they'd be noticed. Presumably these guys have radar. Set her down in that I mean, they're radar men and all. Okay. The moon looks remarkably like Earth. I mean, it has a blue, s well, presumably blue sky and everything. Okay. That I'm guessing is an airlock. And it just ran on the moon. You know how hard it is to run on the moon? Found the leader's the base the right direction, Earth man. fairly Enter quickly. The first door you come to. Turn the control. The door will open. And the hands are completely unprotected because. That's an incredibly useless space suit. <laughs> so the moon has an oxygen rich atmosphere. Right. Welcome, Commando Cody. Ruler of the moon. Apparently you are expecting me. Of course. For many years our radio has kept us informed of events on Earth. And my men there have advised right. me of your every move. I see you have adopted our language. Yes. All our people are required to speak English. So we can What about the other world languages? In your country. Do you mind telling me why your men are carrying out that campaign of destruction on Earth? Not at all. They are merely softening up your defenses for our impending invasion. Why do you want to invade the Earth? Because the atmosphere on the moon has become so thin and dry, it is impossible for us to raise food. Except it's only recently become so thin and dry, it's impossible to raise food. Helmets. So we are planning a mass migration to your world. You will find that conquering the Earth isn't so simple. But but given an atmosphere be. that thin, I'm surprised because the moon still has a sky. On the moon, we have an element, lunarium, which is far superior to uranium as a base for atomic reactions. And we can compete with the incredibly valuable reactions, enabling us to build atomic weapons ranging from huge cannon to these small ray pistols. Mm -hmm. Atomic ray pistols. It's very considerate of you to give me all this information. You deserve some reward for your long journey, but unfortunately I cannot permit you to return to Earth with it. Maybe I have something to say about that? Okay. <laughs> so much for the effectiveness when of When could guns weapons. be attracted to magnets? Now I will demonstrate one of ours. Pretty sure that guns are not made of iron or steel. No. Oh. Magnetics. Magnetic man. There. Bugger it, I failed physics, okay. Because that's such a good idea. I'm 
sure it wouldn't cost much to him to have the machinery repaired. And it's possibly just ornamental. Everyone say it with me now. He didn't get out of the cock a doody car! Yeah. That's what happens. This is Palmer signing off.